Nutrition is a very important component of a child's immunity. Why? Because um, there, there are a lot of uh, nutrients and uh, elements that come from the food that a child eats that actually contribute to their immunity. Uh, we think of vitamins, we think of, uh, of uh, elements that actually contribute towards boosting immunity, let me put it that way. Um, for example, vitamin C is a good immune booster. It's also an antioxidant. Uh, this basically means it fights uh, radicals or things that would come to destroy the cells. So along with that, uh, vitamins like vitamin E, for example, it also does a lot of that uh, fighting or pr protecting the cell. Now, apart from that, now the food that we eat um, contains proteins which go into the making of not only the cells but also the uh, agents of immunity. We are talking about antibodies. So these nutrients would contribute to towards the uh, actually um, overall defense of this child, not only for the, against the entrance of disease, but also fighting the disease, that's a, if it's already there. Infections do play a uh, major role in um, affecting the child's immune status. For one, uh, a child who is unwell might not have a good appetite, so you find they're not feeding properly, and in that reduced feeding, they're also not taking in enough nutrients to boost up their immunity. So um, at the end of the road, this child would end up uh, wasted and also malnourished, let's say malnourished in a lot of nutrients. So the immune system is affected because uh, they're not able to mount proper defense um, to shield off any germs, for example, entering the system or to fight any infection that they already may have. Uh, children who are unwell could also be affected basically because even if they're eating some of them, if they have infection of the gut, the stomach, the intestine, then the absorption of these uh, nutrients would be affected, would be affected rather. So there's a lot of wasting of the food and as a result of course a lot of good nutrients do not go in. So apart from not being able or not wanting to eat, a child might also not be absorbing whatever they're able to eat and that at the end of the day does affect their immunity. Um, basically, the re recurrent infections would impact growth, one, by this child using a lot of energy to just fight the disease process itself. So in that aspect, there's less energy left for growth and uh, the end result then the child would fail to thrive. Uh, also, also, as I mentioned, a, a sick child might not be willing to feed or not, might not feed as well as usual, so uh, as always for them. So in that process, there is energy insufficiency, in, intake of it, less energy, less protein than this child would need, and along with that also the micro elements or the micronutrients rather that are necessary for this child's uh, body defense. So failure to thrive is something that develops over time. Uh, so chronic illness has affected the child's appetite, affected the energy uh, being channeled towards the sick process as opposed to uh, growth. And uh, also, as I said, some of the, if, it's the, if the intestine is involved, for example, it could also interfere with, in, with the absorption of the very nutrients themselves. So the end result then is uh, poor weight gain, failure to thrive. Um, child would be maybe shorter than they should be, or wasted, uh, tall but lean looking as a result of that.